What's happening, people? Today we are here with a Wi-Fi battle. Now, I, we're using the same team. Me, Math Energy, and uh, me as well. We are both using the same team. Why do you ask? Well, it's pretty obvious. We're having a mirror battle. This is something totally new that nothing I know about. Uh, Math Energy here likes to do a lot of uh, stuff outside of OU. He just likes to do a lot of VGCs and stuff like this. I'm not familiar with it at all. But he is. You, we, are, we are doing a mirror battle. This is honestly so weird. Uh, using the same team against each other. Um, I do know. I do know all the move sets. I do know how this team works. I've used this team a long time ago, back in Ultra Sun and Moon when it first began, I think. So I am pretty familiar with it a little bit. I haven't. This. I haven't played Pokemon in months <laughs> until this day. I mean, until you know this entire month of, of October. It's been about two months since I last played Pokemon. I've been on my Xbox and everything. <laughs> Work, I guess. But anyways, uh, we are going to see who can win here. In a battle between ourselves. This is, um, not against ourselves, but we're facing each other and shit. Okay, why does it keep doing this? <laughs> I'm sorry, Pete. That keeps happening. Anyways, let's begin the battle. So, what I'm, I'm going to do is actually lead off with my landers because I honestly don't have a better lead in my opinion. I really can't think of anything better. Louis leads off the low plane, that's an Intimidate, he leads off the landers, that's also an Intimidate. And not only that though, our landers are not the same. The truth is, our landers are um, Gravity, Source Dance, Earthquake sets. This is perfect against Stall and some other formats. So this is perfect. What I should have done actually, instead of going straight for my Stealth Rocks, was uh, going for the Gravity instantly. Because that way I can just set the Source Ants next turn and then just Earthquake his ass. But unfortunately, that's not going to happen. Right here, I'm actually going to do a set of Source Ants and wait for him to go for Gravity. That way, I can win Speed Tide. I mean, not win Speed Tide. I can uh, beat him when I kill him. Actually, the truth is, though, it turns out my land is faster than his. This didn't make sense to me at all at first. Uh, I'm not sure what was going on. Uh, he told me that he copied and pasted the teams that we we are both using. So, the truth is, I'm not sure why I am faster than him. The truth is, I can't go for, um... I can't go for gravity if I'm faster than him. This is just bad. Actually, I don't even know what to do here. Honestly, this is just a weird situation. Right here, I am just going for earthquakes and spamming it. He's spamming earthquakes now, and this is bad. I can't switch out, honestly. Um, if I switch into my Lyos, I can screw myself instantly. Uh, not really. Not entirely. I can switch into it. But right here, he is going to go for the gravity at this very moment, which is perfect. And because I'm faster, and because I'm a plus six, I kill everything. Nothing lives this earthquake. I'm in plus six land hole. Land hole, boy! And I'm going to kill this landers, and that's been the end of it. I have no idea why I'm faster. He should be drawing max speed along with me. But, uh, I guess that's just what happens, I guess. I'm not sure. Maybe he's running Hit Power Ice or something. No, it can't be. I don't even know. Anyways, anyways. He is going to switch into the Greninja. This is a Battle Bond Ash Greninja. I know that. And so what I'm going to do is switch it to Mas Bagale. Uh, the Tangrowth. I know for a fact he's going to go for the U-Turn, unfortunately. Not, oh, he isn't. Well, I have to play it safe. I play it safe all the time, and I have to play it safe. So what I'm going to do here is, uh... Allow my uh, tank rope to take a little bit of water choking. So right here, I can go straight for the knockoff and take off this thing's choice specs, which would be great in this game. Uh, what we just gonna do is actually switch into the tank growth, and unfortunately for him, that's gonna make things better for me because that just means that my Greninja is gonna go in. Without this thing's assault vest, I am gonna wreck shit. So I'm gonna knock off his item. He's gonna knock off my item actually as well, but that is fine because I have a low punny, and I know for a fact that I'll try and get more offensive than him. Uh, once I get my uh, Greninja in, out on the field. So what he's going to do is indeed go for the knock off against my tank girl. He's going to knock off my item. I'm going to keep going for the power fire. But at this very moment, I believe I'm not going to. Uh, I know for a fact he's going to try and switch out. So what I'm going to do is double right into my Greninja, predicting his heat rate to come in to my HP fire. That shit was so obvious. Uh, that or he was going to go for HP fire himself with his tank growth. 
Uh, so now what I'm going to do here is click straight for the Hydro Pump. He has no real switch-ins. Thanks to his uh, Tangruff boosting against the Salt Vest. But unfortunately for me... No, for him. I forgot to give that Tangruff Regenerator when I gave it to him. It went, eh. It's like... The, the, oh god. <laughs> okay, in Pokemon Showdown, I didn't actually put down the full abilities and movesets on the Pokemon. That he, uh, that I linked to him. He copied and pasted the the team I gave him on Pokemon Shona, but the truth is I didn't put down the right abilities and everything on that team. So, unfortunately, I just screwed him right there. His Tangrowth doesn't have Regenerator, and because of that, my Ash Greninja is about to rush shit. Uh, this Greninja is about to take a heavy Choice Specs Hydro Pump, which is going to do so much damage, and upon re-entry, this Greninja will die. So, I knew he was going to go for your turn right here. It is going to do a lot of damage. I know for a fact it won't kill me, and I know for a fact I will kill him. Oh, well, kill him or he'll die in stuff rocks. So now he's gonna switch into the low pony. Uh, I'm going to have to switch out unless I want to die here. So I will preserve my Ash and Jake and wreck shot soon. I'm gonna switch to my Landorus and uh, get that Intimidate. Honestly, don't have any real better switch in against this low pony. I know for a fact this low pony has. I don't think it has Ice Punch. Actually, I think it does. Unfortunately, it shouldn't have Ice Punch. It should have Quick Attack. No, Quick Attack. You should have Power Punch, Return, High Jump Kick, and uh, Fake Out, I believe. That should be his moveset. But anyway, see, so he's gonna go for the Fake Out. I'm gonna Tyke it. Give him a Chomp. And uh, right here, he has an option stay in and potentially do lose his low punny from a hefty Earthquake. Or I can go for Gravity. But right here, he is indeed gonna go for the. Um... Actually, what I'm gonna do is go for Sword Dance because I knew for a fact he was gonna switch out. I didn't know what in two. Right here, I am gonna go for gravity at this very moment because if he goes for the defog, that's gonna benefit me better than him. And or if he goes for the trick, right, like what he does does right here. My bad, I got stuttered. I stuttered and shit. Anyway, if he goes for the trick right now, that's actually gonna be great for me because that just means that my lander is a better answer to his low punny, his heat ram, and a couple other Pokemon. So what I'm gonna do now is go for the gravity. That's going to hinder him and screw him later on, you'll see. And what I'm going to do now is uh, switch out, because I don't want to get draco And I'm going to switch into my Heat Run. My Heat Run can take hits from this thing easily. He can't trick me <laughs> a leftovers. Um, because I'm holding leftovers myself with my Heat Run. What he's actually going to do is actually double out himself actually into his Greninja. But unfortunately, Stealth Rocks are going to kill it. So that sucks. Um, my Heat Run is going to get a little bit of leftovers right here. Get a little bit of HP buck. What he is going to do though is switch back into the low punt. And uh, unfortunately, well, he has an option here. He actually uh, either attacks me and goes for high jump kick, which won't do shit to my landers, or he can do nothing. But actually, the truth is, no, no, no. No, I see what I'm doing. I'm, you, I'm going to sweep with my Greninja. That is my goal plan. It's either that or it's my low punt. So, what I am going to do right here is switch into my landers. He can power up punch me if he wants to. He won't outspeed Mark Greninja. If he stays into this Earthquake as well, he's going to put himself in range of the Water Shook. So he knows that he cannot stay in. So he's going to be forced to switch out into his Latios. But unfortunately for the Latios, like I said, this Gravity and him tricking me in Choice Scarf is going to screw him because the Gravity is still up. <laughs> and also, I am Choice Scarf. So I can kill him right now and he can't switch out. So he screws himself. This thing is a range of Water Shook. Now it's just a low punny. Well, he's forced to stay in with his Lyos. Otherwise, uh, something else dies. So uh, he is going to allow his Lyos to die here. He should Draco me, if anything. Uh, but he's probably predicting my Heat Ran or something to come in. I don't know. The gravity is going to end. <laughs> yeah, it was. It worked perfectly. <laughs> the gravity and him tricking me in Choice Scarf helped me out greatly. Because now that thing is dead. And now this low punny is going to be a range of a War Shurken as well. As he is going to fake me out at this very moment. Doesn't matter. I'll earthquake him. I thought he was actually going to die at this very moment. Uh, but, uh, no, he is not. He is actually going to live with a sliver. He is going to die to Stealth Rocks upon re entry, though. I might even, I wasn't even sure this return would kill, but it actually is. Because Low Punny is decently strong. I'm going to switch into my Greninja now. Actually, no. My Low Punny. I'm going to switch into my Low Punny because I have not used Low Punny in a clean minute. 
I would not use the Lupin in probably about a couple of, uh, a couple of months, or... I haven't used it since I don't even remember. I can't even remember the last time I used Mega Lupin is, except from Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. I have used it in Sun and Moon, but I just can't remember at all. So, I am going to go for the fake out right here. Uh, finish it off as low play. I don't want to risk a speed tie. I, could, I was going to go for high, uh, power up punch, but I didn't want to. So, anyways, he is going to die. That damn low play. There's no point switching. He'll die to Death Rocks. And now, what he's going to do is switch to He Ran. I kill him with a high jump kick, and that is going to be guy. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, great game. Pretty intense, actually. I loved it. So. Uh, thank you guys for watching, like I said, usual. Um, streaming. I'm streaming. Make sure you put on notifications to check when I'm streaming. I upload on YouTube of a link of uh, tw my Twitch channel. So make sure you're, uh, you know, got notifications on my channel for that. So that way, you, that way you guys can be, uh, stay tuned. You can get your Wi-Fi battles on YouTube. So, thank you guys for watching. We'll be back. Peace.